All right, so I'm going to demo the IV fluids and IV piggyback for you guys. Um, it's two checkoffs, so it's going to count as a total for 40 points, um, but it's in the same room, so I just want to show you the layout. So first thing I'm going to do, wash my hands. Um, if you're really skilled at multitasking, you can do both patients at the same time. I'm going to demo breaking them up one at a time. So I want to do my primary IV fluid and that is going to be Mr. Kurt Smith. So Mr. Smith is patient A. I want to verify all of my information and that I'm giving NS one liter over eight hours and that matches my MAR. So my NS one liter 125 mils an hour. So what I need for my primary is my plum set because I'm using the plum pump. I need a flush I need some alcohol and then I'm going to pull my med. IV fluids to me still a med so I think you should do your three checks with it. Um, making sure there's no leaks, there's no sediment, my expiration date is good. I'm doing my first check here. NS, one liter bag and that's what I have and then I'm going to go ahead and do my second check. Grab all of my stuff. Got my sodium chloride, 9.9%, .9%, my one liter bag, and that's what I have on my mark. So I'm going to go into my room, knock, knock, knock. Hey there, Mr. Smith. My name's Brandy. I'm your nurse. We met earlier with your assessment. I'm going to be hanging some fluids that your doctor's ordered. Can you tell me your name and date of birth? Okay, that matches what we have in our armband and our medical record number 8809789. And allergies? Do you have any allergies? No? Okay, great. So I'm just going to be hanging some normal saline. Um, that's just to get you hydrated here. It's really hot outside. I'm going to wear gloves for this. Um, so I want to give you some fluids. So most of my bags here in the um, lab have been opened. So you want to make sure you don't spill it. Remove your tabs. You can do this anyway. It doesn't matter. This is just the way I do it. So remove the blue cap. Remove the clear cap from my, I don't know what that's called. And try not to touch either one. You don't want to contaminate it. Just screw that in there nice and tight my bag up. Fill my drip chamber halfway by squeezing. Now for my cassette, to fill the cassette, you know, for me, I think this looks like a number one, so that's the first thing I'm going to fill, and then I also think it looks like an arrow, so it points up. This cap has a vent filter on it. If there's not been any liquid in your tubing already, you do not need to remove that cap. But if it has gotten wet, then you will have to remove the cap to prime your tubing. So I'm going to open up and we can see the fluid is flowing through. I'm just going to watch it. As soon as I get some fluid in my bubble or ball, whatever you want to call it, I flip it over. And then I just watch it come the rest of the way through. All right, there we go. Open there, close, turn on my pump. So we're doing the primary line, so it's going to be A. I'm going to verify with my MAR, my rate, 125. 
my bag. Um, I have a one liter bag, but I want it to notify me before I come back. So I usually program for 980. So my time is going to be a little different than the eight hours that we're on. But this is your physician order. Your rate is your physician order. Okay, so all of that looks good. And I'm doing my third check, my bag, and my rate is correct. I'm going to come over. Make sure my saline lock is not locked. Most places will lock that so it doesn't clot off. Flush with two mils or however many. Now I remove my cap. Connect and start my pump. And then that's going. So Mr. Smith has his primary fluid. I'm going to go back to my patient B, Miss Ima Hurt, or Mr. Ima Hurt. Again, checking my order with the MAR. Everything matches. So I'm just using my MAR. For this one, I need my secondary plum set and my medication and some alcohol. So again, I'm going to do my three checks with my medication. I'm giving Primax and 500 milligrams and 100 mils over 30 minutes. Primax and 500, 100 mils over 30 minutes. In my bag, I'm a hurt, matches my MAR. Um, I've got my supplies. Before I go in the room, let me check one more time. So doing my second check with that. I'm also changing patient, so I'm going to sanitize my hands. or Mr. Hurt, I'm back with that antibiotic I told you I was going to grab just for safety so I'm make sure I'm correct. Can you tell me your name and date of birth? All right. Check my MRN number, 88109530. Do you have any allergies? No? Okay, that's what I remember. So this antibiotic, I'm hanging Primaxin. You had this earlier. Um, uh, we're just trying to take care of that infection that's in your heel there. So do my third check real quick with that. But I am going to check it again before I start my pump. Um, that's kind of what I like to say my third check is, just verifying that I have everything right. So this one, the primary fluid's running, and my Primaxin is in. D5W, but I know it's compatible with my primary fluid of normal saline. So very first thing, you're going to mess yourself up and get all kinds of air bubbles if you do not roll down your roller clamp. That is key step in hanging your piggyback. So remove my cap, remove this cap from my spike, put it in there without touching anything. You also must fill your drip chamber before you uh, try to prime your, wait, this one we're going to back prime. Okay. So, let me connect here. Uh -oh. Alright, so I'm connected to my blue port. So I can undo my roller clamp and no fluid is going to go through. So for back priming, this is very important. Um, I think as a novice nurse, as a new nurse, you should back prime because you do not want to waste any of this medication. Your patient has an infection, you want them to get all of their antibiotics. So I'm going to stop A and back prime. And hold that button down until your gyp chamber is halfway full. And what that's doing is just putting my NS into my tubing for my antibiotic. All right, now I have to start A
running a test. So A needs to be delayed. It does not need to be stopped. So that's why I started A back. Now I'm going to go to B, and I'm going to take my MAR and again verify that this is all correct information and program my pump. If you're someone that can do this math in your head, you can program your mils per hour, which would be 200, and go down and put your volume of 100. If you're not someone that does math in their head, go down to your volume, which your order gives you, is 100, and scroll down to your time of 30 minutes. And it go ahead, it programs your rate for you. Now before I hit start on my B line, I'm doing my third check, making sure the med and my rate are correct. And then I hit start. Now my B line is pumping and my A line is delayed. So after my B line is complete, my A line will pick back up. All right, Ms. Hurt, I'm finished. Your antibiotics going. And I'll be back in about an hour to check on you. Um, if you need anything before then, just let me know. Okay, and I'm going to go wash my hands.